Welcome to this short video presentation that showcases and runs through delivering content using the ZMAX Verge Viewer. The Verge Viewer is the content interface that delivers a consistent online HTML5 experience. So in essence the Verge Viewer is the vehicle to delivering one piece of content across all channels in HTML5. It's a true multi-channel experience to drive results wherever your end users are, whether that's a smartphone, a tablet or on desktop. With the Verge Viewer you can drive further engagement with rich media, you can interact with online elements using light boxes and our retail customers can integrate with their shopping basket to, to further deliver a brand rich and result driven experience across all touch points. So let's have a quick look at the Verge Viewer and then we're going to dive into how it's set up on a, on a ZMAG account. So first thing we're just going to slide through a few pages and it's good to note here that this this Verge Viewer, we're on desktop at the moment, it's got the same look and feel, the same feature set across all devices. You can, it's, it's designed to give that peak to the next page to keep, to keep your end user engaged and keep them absorbing all that content. We can bring that further into play with a full screen. You can share that experience with Facebook. You can search it with the search and, and find products or keywords and we can always go back to the home page and start again and we may want to browse just using the thumbnail view down the bottom here. With this experience it does lend itself very well just sat alone as an online link here or we can embed it within our web page as well so however you want to deploy your content you can use um, an embed code or you can use the URL to push that out to all your channels and then you would just slide through Again, the exact same experience, it just lends itself very nice to be to be in fully um, within a web page, you get all that branding opportunity, uh, but all the elements and interaction within it, uh, including these light boxes, will carry across. So what we'll use for today as an example is the technical guide. Again, another publication using the Verge Viewer. The only difference I think that's worth noting is that it's got a collapsible control panel at the top, it's an additional feature. And as we drive through, again, it's got some quite nice light boxes that we'll focus on as part of the viewer setting. So you can bring in YouTube videos that you might have online, of form content, or really, in essence, anything that you've got online. This is just a little image that, that just added to a site. It may be a, uh, it just may be a web page that you want to showcase. So let's go into the publicator, and I've uploaded the PDF of the technical guide into this account here, and that's what we're going to work off today. So just creating the publication, and it's already ready, fully ready for HTML5. We just need to enable that on the viewer that it's using. It's the Verge viewer that dictates how your content is delivered. So with that being said, let's look at the viewers, and we see we've got our sh showcase for Verge viewers here, as well as the standard viewers, and these are default on the account. The Verge viewers are the HTML5 enabled, whereas the standard viewers are your typical sort of flash driven page turners that are also available on the account. The standard viewers would be delivered in HTML5 on mobile, but they, they, they would be flash on desktop. So I've got a couple of custom viewers on the account here, and we could either add another one in, but in this case I'm just going to edit this particular viewer just to run through the settings. So you, you can decide whether you want to display your content in one page or two page whatever works best, however you've designed it, landscape one page does lend itself quite nicely to Verge just as a two page. Your preferred desktop, that's what dictates the, the desktop delivery. Everything will be HTML5 on mobile by definition. You can still deliver content in Flash um, on desktop if you wish, so that will get, it gives you the ability to add Flash animations, but otherwise everything here will be HTML5 driven. Um, so that's at a viewer level. So if you wanted to go back, create your HTML5 viewer and enable that on existing content, that still works. Your content can, can be HTML5 at any point. <clears throat> the zoom, it, this, the technical guide has been designed for online, so the font sizes are such that you don't need to zoom in, but that can be enabled. Your viewer styles are the base color. So it's the color that, that the, the, viewer, it's the viewer scheme's working off. It can be, it works off a black or a white and you just adjust the opacity accordingly. So you see here I've got the control panels and the buttons to the left or the right. And we can just adjust our opacity to make that lighter or darker. That's the same with the icon colors here, white, black or gray. And I can set the background of the viewer to, uh, to a set color or I can just pick it from a color picker. 
the visual effects are, are the the sort of the peak that you give to the page forth and back so the page uh, particularly the page that you're going to be moving on to just to give that 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 open opportunity to show what's coming that can be that can be adjusted in the viewer how much of that page you show and how much of that peak you give is set in the viewer settings here as an opacity and whether you want the page to move slightly as you move over the low screen will give you that um, branding opportunity as the content loads in and the mobile and desktop link style just gives you the opportunity to add more to any links that you've created so you ideally would have your links created as <clears throat> so that they're intuitive enough that you would just click or press them but if you wanted to outline or underline or solid fill them the opportunity is there at a viewer level to add more to them the action bar is where your features will sit you've got some that will always be visible and you've got some that you can hide away so again this is a good example of of that in play where we can open up so it just gives more space but if I did want to open it up then there's more features there if I didn't have any features ticked there would be no action bar the features that are available are a home button a table of contents button uh, so home would usually go back to page one but could go to uh, a web page table of contents would go back to a page but it would be a, if you had an inbuilt table of contents in that particular publication which which I don't in this case search you can in, you can search publication for any keywords <clears throat> share again given it's a technical guide it hasn't got a, a share feature on but you can see it's easy to enable as is downloading the original PDF and bringing it into full screen and the light box that you're going to display any content in whether it is a YouTube video or a web page or an image whatever that might be the the size of that and the CSS on that is governed in the viewer here and again you can see it can be customized to fit your needs and we would just save that out so now the viewers ready the contents ready we would be ready to deploy it if we want to add any video content I've just dropped a video and embedded that onto the page and we also want to look at bringing a video in as a light box as an enrichment so I've got the enrichments open in my browser tab so I'd, normally I would click on that but it's already preloaded here <clears throat> so we can start to look at add in a couple of light boxes I just want to look at how easy it would bring to bring this YouTube video in just from the, Z, uh, the Zbags uh, YouTube channel and just this this image here might just want to bring something into a light box just to show how that's done so let's take this the the YouTube video first and we would just go in take an external link drop our image sorry our area over the uh, over the image there <clears throat> if we wanted to change that out and we wanted to add a, an image on the account we could do that as an external source but at the moment all I want to do is just want to bring that video that video into play so I can then change that because I don't want to open this in a new window or tab I want to bring it into the experience so I want to bring it into my light box so that's the change there and that's ready to go and then I'm just going to do a file and I'm going to save that and because we've got our preview open I can now just move to the preview of this technical guide that's on the account there I've got the embedded video and just give that a refresh so you can make changes to the preview at any, at any point and they'll be updated immediately if your content is live you still use the preview to check them but it will just update within five to ten minutes on your live link so there we go there I've just brought that video into into my light box and as we see and as we see here it would be the exact same if I wanted to link to a form to a web page to anything that you've got online you can do just as an enrichment by creating it as an external link that links to a particular web page so now that that's all set up all I would need to do now is just deploy my content so I would go into the publish tab and I'd be ready to activate my content we've looked at both examples so I can either just grab the ZMAGS URL and it's just pushing it live there so I can either just grab the, the ZMAGS URL or I can I can grab the, the embed code and that's then ready to be embedded into the website just while that loads there if you do if we are looking for additional help we can always click on to the support page here
where we can get online help 24 7 we've got lots of, of doc documentation as particularly on HTML5 here and we can go in and we can always go into the contact us area here and grab our support team so that should be everything that you need for the um, <clears throat> in terms of the support there now that our publication is live and go back into the publish tab we've got the link directly to it here and we've got the embed code so this is what we would use just to paste into our web page so that we could bring the experience into our into our um, into our website directly thank you very much for listening